Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. For he is Lord. Sing with me tonight. He alone is Lord. As we lift our hands to him, he has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And We have come into this house. We have gathered in his name to worship him. Hallelujah. We have come into this house. We have gathered in his name to worship Christ the Lord. Just worship him. Worship Christ the Lord. Just forget about yourself. Concentrate on Him and worship Him. Oh, let me worship you tonight. Just forget about yourself. Oh, concentrate on Him and worship Forget about yourself, concentrate on Him and worship Christ the Lord. Just worship Him, worship Christ the Lord. As you welcome the Holy Spirit tonight, welcome Holy Spirit. You welcome the sweet Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. We are in your prayers and the spirit of truth uh, fill us with your power. Oh, oh Lord, come live inside of me. Oh, glory to Jesus uh, for your the living word. Jesus Christ, creating within us 
a clean heart and a pure mind. I mean, you will heal us the right spirit, removing the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear. If you said fear is torment, if you said true love casteth away all fear, and that the love of God will be in our hearts, oh God. That love, that love, that is the harmony of the gospel, that is the bound of perfection, that pure heart, Father, that our desires will be right. For if our desires are right, our mindset will be right, our heart will be right, and our heart will be after thy own heart, after the heart of God, after the will of God, after the purpose of God, after the working of the power of God, removing the spirit of fear and giving unto us the spirit of boldness and of power and of love and the soundness of mind. We pray as we are about to get into your words that you will give us utterance. That you will make us your ministers a flame of fire. To minister by wisdom, by knowledge, by revelation, by the Holy Ghost and where we lack in ability and in potential. That you, the anointing, will make the difference and bring the increase, Father. That you will move by the power your spirit. Yes, Lord, right now. Make my lips to proclaim. Make your angels ministering spirits. Let your angels encamp around us. The mighty name of Jesus. Can everybody say? Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord tonight. Take your name as the Holy Spirit. It's called the Spirit of Truth. And He shall lead you and guide you into all truth and into all paths of righteousness. Tell the neighbor we want the truth. We need the truth. Because only the truth can set us free. Completely free. Only the truth can empower us and make us overcomers. Put your hands together for the Lord tonight. Amen. I told you last week I want you to do a study on the truth. What is the truth? Giving a description on the truth. Amen. I'm yeah. um, not just coming up and saying, well, you know, um, Jesus is the truth and he will set us free. Amen. Amen, somebody. You know, we want to know what is the truth. Yeah. Jesus is the living word of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. And that the word of God is truth to our lives. Amen. And it opens our understanding and we can see the truth in the society, in the life that we live in, amen, somebody. And we can see, and if we can see the truth, then we can see the lies. If we cannot see the truth, you can see the lies. Tell me, neighbor, say, if you cannot see the truth, you will not be able to see the lies. And we are living in a world of darkness, a world of lies. And the Bible calls it a world of strong delusion, according to the book of Thessalonians. The Bible says, in the last days, strong delusions. Amen. Amen. Shall be upon the church, shall be upon the world. That you will be blinded from the truth. Amen. So if we cannot see the truth, we would not be able to see the lies. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 So we need the truth in order to see the lies. To discern, to know. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, you need to know the truth. You need to know the truth. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 If I have to ask you, how do you know a true prophet? Anyone? When the prophesy it comes to pass. The Bible said that whatsoever he prophesies, it shall come to pass. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And then if I have to ask you now what does prophecy do to the church? Edify the church. Amen. Very good. Amen, somebody. Amen. It edifies the church. Edification means to what? <laughs> to, to build, to restore, to strengthen, to uplift, to correct, to rebuke, to, to straighten out, to set God's house in order. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And if I ask you now, what is prophecy? Anybody, what is prophecy? Huh? I come down to the 
Declaring something in this to be, but the, the Bible gives a description of the Bible, so the Bible tells, clearly tells us what is prophecy. Now the Bible says that the word of God is the show more word of prophecy. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And if the word of God is the show more word of prophecy, then what is prophecy? It, yeah, it reveals what happens in the future. Right? Jesus was a prophet, he revealed things to come. But what does the Bible say is prophecy? Some of you have read it, but your eyes are blind, you didn't see it. You see, all, all that is true is going to reveal the will of God, but there's a scripture that describes what is prophecy. You see, you need to understand the signs of a, a genuine prophet, a genuine man of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. Because you will go and sit in ministries and they will prophesy lie to you. And even they might they might prophesy things concerning truth in your life, but by familiar spirits. And so you need to understand the order of a prophet. The Bible says for the spirit of the prophets are subjected to the prophets. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. So you need to understand the order. So we so we went into two orders. Amen, somebody. We understand the first thing when a prophet prophesies, whatsoever he prophesy must come to pass. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. We also understand that prophets edify the church. The church. Amen, somebody. Amen. There's a next scripture that says that nothing doesn't happen on the earth until God reveals it unto his prophets. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So, but my question to you now is what is prophecy? All the answers you're going to come up with is going to be true. But what does the Bible describe it as? It is the will of God, it is for the future. It, it, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Alright, so we get it clear that none of you here know what prophecy is. Amen. In the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 10, for the Bible said, for prophecy is the testimony Jesus of Jesus. Amen. amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. And that's the last thing. If anyone claims to be a prophet and the, the, the prophetic words, any man that came to prophesy and what he prophesied is not testifying of Jesus, then he is not a genuine prophet, no matter how much he see about your life. Remember what is the word of God that all men should believe. On the Son of God. Prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. So you can write it down and go and read it. And amen and see what it what, what Revelation 19 refers to. When we prophesy, we testify of Jesus. Prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. The spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. Testifies of him. Amen. 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 So everything that you all say is true, but it is describing one man. One Savior, one leader. It is testifying of the Son of God. That is prophecy. It is testifying of the Son of God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And if we say that the word of God is the, the show more word of prophecy, say if that man is a teacher, a, a, a pastor, an apostle, whoever he is, if he is not testifying, if the message he is bringing of course is not testifying of the Son of God, then the gospel is hid unto him, he is loved, the truth is hid unto him, no matter how much persuasive words or scripture that he brings, everything must represent our Savior. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Okay, I'll say that for the Lord tonight. So the one we want to get into tonight is, is every nation has a system of rule. Turn to your neighbor say every nation. Every nation. Every, nation. every country. Every, country. Every, tribe every tribe has a system of rule. Amen. Amen. What does now? A system of rule. A system of rule. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 A system of governance. Amen, somebody. Amen. And this is what we want to get into. That we might understand our system. Amen. The, the system of God. 
the system of spiritual things. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Our one nation, what system is it run by anybody? How do people, how are people placed in power? How are people placed in power? How do you choose a prime minister? By voting for an election, what is that system called? Democracy. Democracy. Amen. Yes. So we the people choose Amen. who will become in power. Amen. And yesterday we choose who will become in power. When they get in power, you know, some are for and some are against. Amen. Because no government can please everyone. Amen. So you will find the government will come in power, they will have the poor. And you will find a next government will come in power and they will make the rich richer. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Because they, they would not be able to please Amen. everyone. So that government that is placed there. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. They will decide what will happen to our nation. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And that system is called what? Amen, somebody. Amen. So I want you to write down that. That every rule has a system in which it is governed by. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so, amen, somebody. So the system of the Trinidad and Tobago was run by is called a parliamentary democracy. So we choose those in power and they go to parliament and discuss the issues of the nation. Amen, somebody. And decide what they will do. But who are deciding it? Men. Just like you and I. Men are deciding which way our nation will go. And we respect that and we respect that rule. Amen, somebody. Amen. And if you try to overpower that rule, what is it called? A coup. Amen, somebody. And with that coup comes what? Destruction, murder, yes. death, disorder, rampage, all, every system. Everything put in place is destroyed. Amen. So we no longer have a, a government, we no longer have, amen. Amen, somebody. Order in our nation. When that system, is come again. Say amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. 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 The, the system, let's look at the a next system. Let's look like let's look at England. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Before we get to how the church is run, amen, somebody. Amen. I'm drawing reference to a different system of rule. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 The system of England is ruled by a monarchy parliamentary system. Amen. Monarchy meaning royalty. Kings or queen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We might have studied that in primary school. How many of you said that in primary school? Lift your hands. Amen, somebody. So even though they have a parliamentary system which things are discussed about the nation, nothing can be done without the, the queen signature. Amen. Without the queen yes or no. Even though they have a parliamentary system. Are you understanding? No one can go against that law or that rule. Amen, somebody. Amen. If anyone in that system goes against the queen, what is it called? Amen. Treason. You can be killed in prison for your whole life. What's it, what's it called? Treason. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Every, everybody. Amen. Every organization. Every government. Amen, somebody. Every country. Amen. Every tribe, no matter what it is, has a system in place for things to be ruled and run by. Yeah. And there is no difference in the house of God. So we have to understand the difference Amen between Amen. the system of our country and the system of God. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah. We have to understand there's a difference between the system of our country and the system of God. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So we need to understand, we need to understand the, difference the difference in God's system, system and man's system. Man system. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 So we are getting on to the system in which God will be church by. Tell your neighbor, so we are getting in to the system, system in which God will the church by. The, the world respect the systems that are set in place. And the children of God must respect the system that God has put in place. Amen, somebody. Amen. Ain't gonna res respect their system. Amen. The people in this nation, no matter how much you might complain, respect our system. Amen. A matter of fact, we have no right to complain because we are putting these people in power. Amen. And then after we complain. Amen. Amen. We are the one choosing who's our leaders. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 But in God's system, man does not choose their leaders. God does. Amen. And this is what we're going to get into. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 The rule of a church, amen, or the system which it is ruled by, is called theocracy. Amen, somebody. Amen. What it is called theocracy. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. Did you ever say theocracy? Amen, amen somebody. It's a form of government in which God, amen, is the source from which all authority derives. Amen, somebody. Amen. So in our nation, people empowers the government, amen. the ruler of the nation. But in God's system, God empowers his leaders. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Tell the neighbor said God empowerment. God there's man empowerment and there's God empowerment. Amen, somebody. Amen. It's the source from which all authority derives. A form of government where God, where God is our ruler and king. And his kingdom is ruled by the statues or holy book and enforced by a priestly order of chosen ministers. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So, theocracy is dealing with the divine. God appointed. God anointed. God calling. God choosing. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. So, the neighbor says, God appointed. God choosing, God anointing, God empowering. Amen, somebody. Who doing it? God. People not doing it is God. Man not doing it is God. Man in calling is God. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. The system in which the, the priest is, amen, the priesthood functioned by is a sacratorial system, a sacratorial order. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Meaning to receive a divine commission from God to rule and govern. Amen, somebody by whosoever God has appointed at that time. Amen, somebody. Amen. You are receiving a divine commission from God. And that system is called what? Theocracy. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Theocracy. And the system of which the, the priest uses called what? A sacratorial system. Somebody. Amen. So whoever God has called, whether prophet, 
pastor, apostle, whoever it may be at that time, they are operating under a sacrificial system. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Who they serve? God. He is their king, their ruler. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. He is the one that is empowering them, standing behind them, anointing them, keeping them, working with them. As the Bible said, and God woke with men by sons and prophets. When people are sick and possessed, who do they find? Who do they look for? The man of God. One that is empowered by God. Amen. One that is anointed by God. Amen. One who has received a divine commission. Amen, somebody. One who has received what? A divine commission from God. One who have received what? A divine commission from God. So it means there's a separation. Amen. The Bible said many are called, but few are chosen. chosen. A chosen vessel anointed by God with a divine commission whom God will speak with, interact with, communicate with, reveal what he wants to be done. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. You're going to get it. I want you to, to get this right in your head. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So everyone get what I'm speaking about so far. If your hands. If you understand what I'm saying tonight. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So the system of which God operates from heaven is called? Theocracy. Theocracy. Amen, somebody. Amen. And the system in which his prophets, pastors, and apostles operate by is called? A sacrificial system. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 I'm understanding that individual. Tell the neighbor that that individual have received the divine commission. Amen, somebody. And I want that to stick in, into your mind, into your heart. Who have received the divine commission? That individual. Amen, somebody. Who have received it? When Moses received the divine commission, there were people in the midst who said, God has called me to. And they had ideas and, and intellects and, and they were educated and they had wisdom and all these different types of things. Amen, somebody. Amen. And they thought what Moses was doing was foolishness. Amen. So we're going to get into that. So I want you to understand something now. So I want you to turn to somebody. This might be a little harsh, but turn to them and say, if you have not received, if you have not received the divine commission, the divine commission, then whatever you are say, you are saying, whatever you are saying, or your ideas, or your ideas is, meaningless is meaningless without being witness to God. When you look in the Bible, there are people that make stupid mistakes and God still work for them. Amen. Proving to man that it's not man, it's God. Amen. You are not operating by your intellect or by your wisdom or by your ideas. We are operating by the Holy Spirit, by, by God. By one who has received a divine commission. And whoever received that divine commission is whom God will work with. Amen. And I want, I want you to understand what the Bible thinks about us. The Bible says for the wisdom of man is foolishness. The wisdom of man is foolishness. The wisdom of man is the intellect of man is foolish. The ideas of man is so the Bible says for God knoweth the thoughts of the wise and they are vain. I want you to understand. So, amen somebody. Are you listening to me? Yeah. God house is different to the rule of man. There are about 12 different types of rule. We just mentioned two. We mentioned one from England. We mentioned our nation rule. 
You know, we are speaking about God rule. Amen, somebody. Amen. If better pair, we have an idea. Is that Marilyn have an idea? Amen, somebody. Is that Amos have an idea? And three of them have different ideas. And three of them come to me with all them ideas. And they want them, I, this idea to, to be instituted in the house of God. And three, those three ideas are contradicting one another. And if better Perry and get his idea fulfilled, what he wants to do, he vets. He gets he, all the time he comes to the house and he'll enjoy it and happy. God here, God moving, power here, God moving. But when he gets what he wanted to do, he vexed that there's something wrong with his church. Amen. Amen. And Sister Avis might do the same thing. And Sister Marilyn do the same thing. Amen. So that's what I'm saying. Then that man of God has to go before God and find out what God wants him to do. Amen. Because he is not led by the congregation of those under him. He is led by the one who has empowered him. Amen. Amen. So your ideas are vain unless God says it can work. Amen. And you understand from Wednesday night that the word vain means what? Empty, nothingless, void. Amen. Amen. And let's, let's look now in the book of 1 Corinthians. What the Bible says, what kind of people God called? The base and the foolish, foolish people. people. Amen. What he said, for not many wise are called. Many noble. Not many noble are called. Amen. Not many princes are called. Amen. But God has chosen. Who has chosen? God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise that what no flesh shall glory in his presence. What does it mean by that? That people cannot claim glory for what God has done. That you know that this man is a dunce head man. It has no way that this man can do it without God. That's what mean. Amen. Because God wants people to, to know that without Him, we are nothing. Yes. And we can do nothing.